welcome to the Tan Fam, the one and only Nia Dennis. Nia, thank you so much. I'm so excited you're finally here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Nia, we are so, so excited to have you on. I, I can't wait to hear about the next chapter and the wonderful things ahead. But let's go back to how this all started. These routines, I mean, you put in the work to be an incredible gymnast, but then you touch people's hearts and inspire in a way that I, I can't imagine you saw coming because this, this looked like it came from the heart. It did. It really did. Um, so I honestly felt very inspired by the Black Lives Matter protests that were happening during that time period a year ago. And I was actually having a shoulder surgery where I could not participate in the protest. Um, I was very hurt. I was very sad and upset that I couldn't be on the front lines with my brothers and sisters. For a, bigger, for a bigger change. And, you know, in a predominantly white sport, it is not so commonly seen, Black culture and just Black gymnasts thriving at the highest levels. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come and celebrate Black culture and Black excellence and showcase that. I always wonder about things, especially a big moment that you know is about to happen. Um, and you either hit send on, you know, the email or you start the first show in our case, when I first walked out the doors of our show and I was like, oh boy, here we go. When the music, you know, it's about to start and you're at the edge of the mat and you're about to hit it. Did you think to yourself, oh, they're not ready for this. Wait until they see this. <laughs> Girl, let me just tell you, I was really excited about this routine, honestly, like like I, this routine meant everything to me. It was the culture. I felt like it was the culture, all good things from our culture. And, you know, once I completed the routine and I was ready to show it to the world, I was just like, in the moment, I, you know, I felt empowered. I felt free. I felt alive. I felt just so many positive things, you know, and I felt like I was going to kill it, you know, it's my thing to dance. So. <laughs> You know, just another I'll tell day. you what, I got goosebumps because to your point, it's a celebration of our culture. However, watching your teammates around celebrate the culture and they are in it. That's when I tell people, listen, you can be unapologetically who you are and those who are different can come to the table and celebrate too. And that's what I saw in that moment. They were in it. They were celebrating you, your culture, and you not shying away from your culture. Yeah, absolutely. My teammates have been the biggest support system I've ever received in my entire life. I feel so blessed to have so many sisters who have my back no matter what. And, you know, they were shining through me. I felt so much power and unity behind my routine with them in my corners and every corner of the floor. Just cheering yeah, me yeah. on, hyping me up, and making me feel like I'm the baddest out there. 